Alright guys, welcome back to the episode of Beyond Two Souls. It's a beautiful day with the seagulls out flying around. I'm just hiking through the desert. Not really sure what's going on. Why are there seagulls out in the middle of the desert? Maybe those aren't seagulls. They sound like them though. Look, I'm totally exhausted and thirsty. And I have no clue where we fucking are, so just play nice and give me a break, okay? What's up with all your dude haircuts, girl? Come on now. And who's gonna come pick this ass up? I need a ride. Whoa, how come I keep walking off the side of the road? Are you drunk, girl? Can't walk in a straight line? Uh oh. Dang. He just said F you. So did he. I don't blame him though. Honestly, I don't know if I would ever pick up a hitchhiker. Like, the good person in me wants to. You know, I'd love to help somebody out. But there's also the fact that this world is freaking crazy and there's a lot of lunatics out there. So I don't want to get nowhere. I'm dying of thirst. raped and murdered. And everything's fucked. But it's going to be okay. He's like a pet that always wants what? your attention. That's awesome. Oh. There's a barn over there. Smart, Iden. It's okay, Iden. There's no reason to be nervous. What are we doing over here? Okay, it looks like they recently had some sort of bonfire. Some stables over here. What do they have? Horses? Are we going to steal a horse? Some sheep. Uh-oh, I see some horsies. Gonna steal one of these bad boys and ride him off into the sunset. We take him. Maybe not. Go check out the barn over here, and then maybe we should go knock on the freaking house. Before he gets shot by some crazy farmer. Can't even look in there. Okay. Uh-oh. Looks like the door's over here. Let's ask for some help. I love how my first instinct was to steal the horse. And my second instinct was to... uh to ask for help. Oh, there's an axe on the log over there. Keep that in mind. Hey, I'm so sorry to disturb you. Well, that's one handsome I'm man. I'm just looking for some place to spend the night and, and I was hoping that You can't stay here. Sorry. Well, can I just... Can I just spend the night in your barn? Please, I, I mean, I promise I will be gone by morning. I told you you can't stay here. You need to leave now. This is gonna be some crazy Indian ritual shit that he was just trying to save us from and now is like elders. Okay, 
You can stay here tonight. His elders are gonna I'm in. kidnap her, and uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. That's just the vibe I'm getting. What's your name? Oh, Jody. I'm Paul. These are my sons, Corey and Jay. These guys actually seem like nice people. Mother, Shimasani. Don't be surprised if she doesn't answer you. She hasn't spoken in years. We're about to have dinner. Would you like to eat with us? Wow. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, thank you. They just take a stranger into their house and feed them? Let's get some of that meat, son. And some of them taters. Oh, nope, the taquitos or the taco or the burritos, whatever those are. And then some of them taters. Oh, some water. I don't even know if I can get those taters or rolls or whatever they are. All right, guys, we need some table conversation here. He's getting a tad awkward. What you looking at, skinny mini? We don't see many hitchhikers out here. Can I ask where you're headed? Sincere. I just keep moving from day to day. I guess if I keep going long enough, I'll figure out where I'm headed. I see. You guys are really far from everything here. Hmm. My family's lived here for generations. I was born here. I'll probably die here. That's cool in a way, but it also sucks. I tell my boys to go. I know there's nothing for them here. But, uh, they want to stay with their grandmother and me, so. <laughs> this is the, uh, first ranch that I've seen in, in miles. Mm. There used to be more of us. Many have left for the city. It's a hard life Sell out here. Sellouts. Do you breed horses? Yeah. Mustangs. We also have a bunch of churros. Churros? Sheep. <sighs> we sell their wool and milk. It's not much, but it keeps us alive. I kind of want a simple life like that. Don't worry about money or jobs or anything like that. Like just putting food on the table to live, working. No stress, just what the hell is going on? Jay will uh try to your room. Good night. The fuck is going on? Coyotes or something? Are you coming? Zombies? <laughs> I don't know what to think. Eerie freaking music. You stay in your room. No matter what you hear. What I hear? What do you mean? You value your life. Lock your door and don't come out until the morning. What? Ah, yeah, we get naked up in this beast. Look at them boy shorts. Oh, come on. Don't put it back on. I know. 
very strange place. Don't worry. Tomorrow will be a long way from here. Good night, Ida. I want to go outside and see what the hell is going on. We are not going outside, that's for freaking sure. Aiden can go. I'm not. This dude's naked up in here, just sitting down, not even going to bed. out of range I can tell this game wants me to go outside and I don't want to wet t-shirt contest Ashes. don't you dare it's got them so scared. Spirits or some crazy shit. Just don't mess with it. Just go back to bed. Please. Good God, she's an idiot. Shit. What's going oh, are they trying to kill me? Maybe? Are they locking me in here? Alright, well that seems like it's a bit anticlimactic. I don't want to speak too soon. Oh, it's morning, okay. Shit. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I was going to put my clothes on, but now that I think about it, let's just say F it and not do that. Let's just walk out to them with no clothes on. Screw it. What's up, guys? I'm a slut. Man, it's going to make me put my pants on. That would have been funny if you could choose if you want to put pants on or that. That would have been absolutely hilarious. What the fuck? Jesus, man. Go knock on dude's door. It's not even in there. All right, let's just leave. You looked exhausted. I told the boys to let you sleep. Thanks. I, I really needed it. You didn't explain what the hell happened last night?
Let's get super caffeinated. Down that coffee, girl. Can I even talk to him? Nope. All right. Let's head outside. I'm going to hit the road. Don't have your spirit Thanks. soldier thingies follow me, please. There's a lot of work to be done on the farm. Maybe you'd like to stay on for a few days. Lend a helping hand. Couldn't pay you anything, but uh, you have a roof, food on the table. What do you think? No thanks. Yeah. Whoa, really? Yeah, why not? Hmm, good. You'll find some more clothes in Corey's room. See you outside? It's not what I was expecting. But okay. Oh, shit. Ready for work? I'm ready when you are. The sheep need water. Think you can handle that? Sure. Yeah, no problem. I don't like staying here, that's for sure. 